say good morning. Say good morning. Say good morning. Good baby style. You're out early? You're out early this morning? Yes. You're here for your checkup. Right here. Put your arm. Hey, you're going out your arm. I bet she copied me. How is she copying you? Because look. You didn't do that. She's actually doing it, not you. You're copying her now. Hmm? You're trying to... Milan, I had to do a follow. I think you can come off. You taking it off, Landy? Leave it, Milan. Leave it. We're early. It's a boat. Then I want my phone this so crack. I screen it so crack. Ah. Uh, but I did see it. Hey Landy, is you crack it? You crack it? No? Why can I see this little crack? I soon show you. What is the Milan? Very, 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 very tired to wait here. Well, I don't think they open the gate that early, so we have a long wait. Because it's not 7 o'clock yet. So they open the gate at like, I don't know, maybe about 8. Don't move, okay? Yeah, I think they open about 8 o'clock. What? Yes! And it's not seven o'clock, so we have like over an hour. What? Yep. That me. Mm hmm. Over there, empty. See him just letting in vehicles. So why do why do we vehicles? Because those are the workers. Those are the workers. So could Daddy go in? Daddy doesn't work there. Only, <laughs> only who works over there, Milan. Oh, they can drive in. Yes, or they can walk in. When you go over there, we're gonna sit outside underneath that blue tarpaulin thing there, or the tent. Oh, so we're gonna sit over there. Cool. Yes. Sorry, baby. It's not. It's not even seven o'clock yet, so we have a little wait. There is nowhere to sit out here. It just sucks, cause we are here, and them now open the gate. So I like doing these things privately. But you didn't come here, Milan. You're at 6.45 now. Little sis. It doesn't matter. Little sis. Little sis. Little sis. Little It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Milan, leave her. Leave her arms. Tell her, leave my arms. Tell her, don't trouble my arms. You're gonna stop kicking up the shoes, London. Hmm? Kicking up the shoes. Good enough. Let we in yet. You hungry? London now eat from the other day no? I don't know what is our problem. Look at your arms. 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 Look at 
703, still not inside yet. We saw me a third person come and get number 16. This is madness, the gate's still locked. Yeah. I'm just a little eat now. After seven, only because I go ball and tell him so Milan really hungry and she have to eat something. Where are we going to sit, Milan? Come over here. Come right here. I wanted to use. Huh? Oh, okay. I want you to take out one of these masks. Get more one of these masks. Take out one of these wipes. Take one. Look. Milan, that's more than one. Use it to wipe up the seat, man. Open up the wipes. Open up the wipes. Okay. And wipe the seats. Okay. Yeah, this one is so dirty. <laughs> hey, touch on my mouth. Alright, sit down. Well, 
No, we're leaving now. The meeting is over, so I'm gonna go to your class. Talk to your teacher, okay? Yeah. Come on, wait. So we went to the supermarket a while ago. Actually, leaving from London's appointment. Milan had a report day at school, PTA slash report day, so we went there. School, um, supermarket is close to the school, so we decided to stop there for juice. But well, you know, normally you make a supermarket run. Right, you, go you just, you know, you cannot sit up here. Just wait now. So <laughs> you can't sit up here, Milan. Why? Because you just can't. Let me just pause this. Yeah, so back to what I was saying now. So we go to the supermarket just to grab a few stuff. Like for juice. And I said I wanted bun and cheese for lunch, right Milan? Yeah. So we were inside here. We ended up picking up more stuff than we had originally planned. And so when I went up to the cashier, I said to her, I don't want you to pass a thousand dollar. And um, all right, before we reach up to the cashier, just as I was about to step, um, behind the last person in the line, a gentleman. No, no, you cannot sit, this seat is too high, it's a stool and it's too high, you can't reach up there. So, Milan, wait, now let me just finish saying this. Uh, lean on my foot right there, Milan. Just lean right there, we'll soon get taxi. So I saw this gentleman, I'm kind of clock more like, chow. Well, <laughs> Milan don't know which way, which way I'm up here from, because I never seen nobody close enough to the line that I was going, so. I wonder where this man appeared from. I'm going to clap my mouth like, Chuck, where am I going? You know, some people will push it out of the line even though you see her actually reach there before them. You have to say to her reach at the same time then. Then we try to push it out of the line and, you know, when I think about it, I'm like, well, I'm just give her a blessing. She'll have a baby and she'll have a little girl and whatnot. Anyway, I look funny when I reach close to the cashier and I said, go ahead. I said, thanks. When we go up to the cashier, I said, um, don't let it pass a thousand dollars. I don't want to use my card. And she said, all right. 
the wild cash in me as a tourist. So, um, reach a thousand yet, and she said it's nine. She said, like, she said nine twenty or eight twenty. I think she said eight twenty. I said, all right, keep going. I have two more juice. And so, um, yeah, if I'm both good, I'm not going to catch the juice them. I'm telling her to put the meat aside because I'm going to take a piece of liver. Because I'm going to stay a long time and I eat liver. Come, come here, man. Our middle vibes is back. Back to the January 28th at the Mass Gap. Middle vibes. If the Saturday night of the Mass Gap is back. Back to the January 28th at the Mass Gap. Middle vibes. 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 Middle and I'm ready for talk. Yeah, so back to what I was saying now. So, um, my eye looks so red. Not even my eye looks really red, though. I'm talking about red and something. I'm in the middle of the supermarket and, like, my lady, a pastor, and she has been. It's like really on her in her eye. But me never know said that go on. I think she had a bottle or something, and I'm not going to have probably she flesh and lick on her eye. She said, no. Um, the person I'm catching her, I seem like she not to really realize too. When I give her the benefit, I don't say she never realize. Because some people can be so heartless. Yes, yeah, so me not a line and not me say me I cash the stuff them and me I say to the cashier me no want to pass a thousand dollar. So me kind of monitor the item them and me ask her if it reach a thousand eight hundred. I think she said it was like eight. 20 or something like that or 8 30 something like that she say so i tell her i said um all right cash them juice here but don't cash the liver because i had a piece of liver on the counter same time the gentleman behind me said um no man it's okay it's okay and she had cash the juice them and then she just said one thousand and something now she said one thousand and something with the juice, I'm saying, okay. say, you know what? Um, you know, I tell her to take her back when I juice. The man said, It's okay, it's okay. Same time she go for leave and I go cash. I said, No man, make that stay. The man said, No man, go ahead and cash everything. It's okay, cash everything. So I said, Um, you're gonna pay the difference? And say, Yeah. I mean, I said, It's just that I didn't want to use my card because I never planned to come in here from get so much stuff. I never said the last part, I just never want to use my card. I said, No man, it's okay. Like, it's like him basically one for said do good and good will follow you. But another that him says it's like I'm not sure if you remember word for word when he says something about good or when you're blessed, you bless others. It's either when you're blessed, you bless others. I think that's what he said. When you're blessed, you bless others. Or something similar to that. But thinking about it now, me say that's why it's important for you to do good because I know who you do good to. I'm going to do it back to you. Remember one time I mentioned some stuff to a friend of mine and I say how hurtful, how hurtful it is when you're always doing good to people and they never return by the favor. And she has said, girl, I know who you do good to, I'm going to do good back to you, you know. And that time I say, what she mean by no woman do good? I go do good back to me. No, them supposed to do it back to me. It's not like me I keep score when I do for people. But at the same time, we're only human, and it's okay if you tell somebody things if I ever want, because you're always giving, always giving, always giving, right? Hmm. So anyway, I'm just grateful for that. It was much of a difference that he paid. I think he paid probably like maybe three hundred dollar max, cause the liver. Wait there. Liver um is for one ninety. So I guess with tax it come to like probably one twenty or something like so. And probably he paid for one of the true juice. Yeah. So I mean that's a probably about roughly three hundred dollars. Plus, you know some I could have actually used my card. I could have used the points off of my card. Reading the points off my card to pay for these stuff. But my honestly, I think that thing about that. I just think I'm saying, you know what? It's not like me really have to cook that meat here today. I just see my seat and I say, you know, a long time I need some liver. I mean, I think about some liver and rice. I'll probably liver and dumpling later. 
which I'm not even sure I'm cook. <laughs> but it's just good to see somebody, you know, being kind. To see a good human being. Yeah, because I'm always the one giving. Always the one giving. Because of that, people think that. I guess them just think that I have it. But I don't have me have it. Just like helping out others. Especially if me in one position for help, I'm going to help you. Sometimes people take our kindness for weakness. Don't know if we do it. Because when I have we have it. And I have people having me help out. It's just because of the goodness of our heart. Yeah, I could do good. So that's that. I'm just grateful for that. And then when I reach around, I have to take taxi again. There was no taxi. And the son did have to have a security guard call us. And then give him stool and say, Sit down here, son, man. Come out of the sun, the kids. Come out of the sun, the baby. Sit down here, son. And even Milan was saying, Mommy, that was really sweet of the um, security. And I said, Yes, Milan. And I tell him thanks and thing. Yep, so that's it. We're home. We used one stone killed two birds. Went to the appointment. Went to Milan school. Collected a report. Yep. So I'm going to go and relax now because I'm tired. Milan going to lie down. London inside a chill. So I'm going to chill with her now. Bye.